Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So I am on Facebook and I am perusing. Um, and as I peruse, I come across The View. Now, Whoopi Goldberg has been a lion on The View. Uh, so is Joy Behar. Now, Joy Behar is a true blue Democrat. I would imagine Whoopi Goldberg is also particular about the dialogue that they had today. But she's wayward. She's wayward. They have a conversation about the Donna Brazil bombshell that wasn't a bombshell revelation, revealing the secret that wasn't, in fact, a secret at all, that the DNC colluded to cheat Bernie Sanders. Essentially, the process was rigged, to use the shorthand. I'm going to show you this because I found myself yelling at the screen, at Whippy Gober, at Guinan, the person who's supposed to know all on the Star Trek episode knew nothing in real life and is indignant about the fact that he should, she didn't know anything. Let's take a look at this real quick because this is a mind-blowing clip that annoyed the shit out of me and I'm going to know, explain why it annoyed me. Let's take a look. I just had a former DNC interim chair, Donna Brazil, who will be here on Tuesday, by the way, just wrote a bombshell book claiming that a year before Hillary Clinton clinched the nomination. Her campaign agreed to bail out the bankrupt DNC in exchange for day-to-day -day control over operations. So <coughs> Bernie Sanders was basically ignored. By the Democratic but, Well, National yeah, Committee. by the DNC. Yes, which was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It was a very bad thing. And, you know, Donna Brazile has just handed a lovely gift to, to Trump <laughs> right now mm -hmm. with this revelation of the DNC. Just to interrupt for a moment, I'm going to let Whoopi Goldberg continue. It wasn't Donald Trump, Joy. It wasn't Donald Trump. The people who cheated were the ones who handed that to Donald Trump. The fact that that information was lingering in the ether, the open secret that everybody knew, handed a big revelation to Donald Trump. Donna Brazil just told. That's it. She didn't do anything wrong telling any more than whistleblowers do anything wrong when they're saying the United States is committing waste, fraud, and abuse. They are doing things to undermine your democracy. And the only thing that you can think about is your immediate short-term concerns of, this makes my team look bad. This makes my team look bad. Let's keep going. It's fucking amazing. I mean, this, this response that everything is always related to Donald Trump in some way. They cheated. Do you understand that? Mind you. Hillary Clinton might have won anyway, but they rigged the process. They were so cynical. They honestly didn't necessarily believe or they thought that there was a chance that she might lose. Otherwise, why rig it? Why go through those steps? Why take full control over the entire apparatus during the primaries if you thought that there was any chance that you might lose? It's not about Donald Trump. Your team, the Democratic Party, cheated one of the candidates running in the campaign or running in the process to determine who is going to run against the Republican for president of the United States. It is a big fucking deal. And I would agree with you that Donald Trump is a maniac. I would agree with you that Donald Trump is a buffoon. The man 10 months ago was a reality show host and he's out there murdering people and bombing other countries. On that, I agree. This has nothing to do with Trump. This is everything to do with your party and what your party did. Let's, let's, let's keep going. It's always bringing a Trump in this conversation. This is a big gift to Trump. This is a big gift to Trump. You know what the big gift to Trump was? Putting up the worst candidate in the history of candidates by the Democratic Party. You know what was gift to Trump? Incompetence, corruption, cheating. All of those things were gifts to Trump, not Donna Brazil. She's not a goddamn saint in the way she makes herself appear. And yes, she's hawking a book. It doesn't necessarily mean that what she's saying is wrong and all of this stuff comports with the stories that were coming out from Politico. She cheated. She cheated. By the way, your integrity is showing. Your integrity is showing, or lack thereof is showing. Let's keep going. And um, uh, it's not a pretty picture. It's, no. not, it's a nasty side. It's not criminal. It's unethical, maybe, but it's not criminal and it's mm -hmm. not going to distract from the Mueller I'm sorry, I need one more interruption. Okay, there may be more. It is criminal. 
Just because Donna Brazil said in a piece, uh, it's not criminal, Donna Brazil spent two paragraphs sticking a shiv in Hillary Clinton explaining how you're only supposed to take $2,700 in campaign finances and Hillary Clinton was essentially taking 99% of the cash from the state parties, laundering the money through the state parties. Do we have campaign finance laws? If the candidate is only supposed to get $2,700 for a particular individual giver, how on earth are you telling me that somebody who's giving a hundred thousand or how much ever money, I think they could give a max of three hundred and like fifty three thousand dollars. You had one millionaire, let's say, or one billionaire, one of Hillary Clinton's friends. Let's say they give two hundred thousand dollars. If eighty or ninety percent of that money goes back to Hillary Clinton by being laundered through the parties itself, you understand that that's well exceeds the twenty seven hundred dollars. Just because it was laundered through the states doesn't necessarily mean that that was above board. It's called money laundering. And ultimately, she ended up with more than $2,700 per person. Just because Donna Brazil puts in the line, this wasn't criminal, but it was unethical, doesn't, in fact, make it not criminal. The Democratic parties, in their bylaws, they have, you should not cheat one of the other candidates, and you need to be completely impartial. When Deborah Wasserman Schultz was standing up there, looking in the camera, being the grinning idiot, saying, we are impartial. We are not cheating Bernie Sanders at all. Everything is above board. Trust me. By the way, they're throwing chairs. Trust me. Just because something is written down doesn't necessarily mean the thing that's written down is true. Just because somebody says something, meaning just because Donna Brazil says it wasn't criminal, doesn't necessarily mean that wasn't true. The other paragraphs in the in the sentence itself in the in the article gets across. She was skirting these laws. She was skirting these laws. This is essentially, oh my God, please don't lock up Hillary Clinton. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. Let's keep going. Your investigation, in case you're wondering, Donald. <laughs> but it was it was bad, and it just yeah. shows you that politics on both sides yeah. have to be. Uh, they need Nasty. a purge. Yeah. They need to be uh, pur totally vomited out and yeah. start new. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it at all. I mean, you know, I was. Um, I, I think it's common knowledge. My best friend um, Stephanie Rowling Flake was the DNC secretary during this time, um, and Donna Brazil is also a very good friend of mine. So I, I, I believe Donna. I'm, I'm not finished reading her book, but I have reached out to her, and I believe Donna when she says this is what she found because she's a pretty forthright person. Um, and, and something has got to change. I mean, not only did they perhaps ignore Bernie, if you remember during the campaign, um, Sanders' campaign was concerned that the early primary debate schedule was very limited against his favor. He spoke out about it. Yeah, yeah, he said that um, party money was used for Clinton fundraising and not for his fundraising, mm -hmm. and that briefly they cut off Sanders' access to the uh, party voter file shortly before the New Hampshire primary. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to win, you win fair and square. You don't play these kinds of games. And yeah. I was really disappointed disgusted and disappointed well and it feeds into so many this. of her um people that didn't like her that said there was something they couldn't trust and that yeah. you know there was something going on here it kind right. of disappointed me because when i read this i i haven't defended that part but a part of me thought there's no way that all went on and then you read it and you're like is there anything it's else depressing but it also yeah. makes this always blows me away why do they believe that this couldn't go on i don't understand like, this isn't something expansive. I, I can see if we were having a conversation about aliens and you were saying, oh, well, I don't believe people can keep secrets, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. But you have a candidate who wants to accede to the office. That's what you have. The most powerful position, at the very least in the United States, you can arguably say the world. What would you do to get that slot? And are you telling me that shafting somebody from a political standpoint wouldn't necessarily be on the agenda to do to get the slot? You could see it with your own eyes. It, was she not here in real time? I mean, so she was seeing things with her own eyes and saying, okay, okay, there's no way that's happening. I'm going to believe the grinning idiot on television telling me that everything is okay and everything is above board. It's amazing. Let's keep going.
makes you more cynical about the political process. This is a breakdown in our democracy at the very basic level. And I also, I've always liked Donna Brazile. I was shocked when it came out that she had passed along a debate question early on to Hillary Clinton's campaign before it happened. These are things that shocked me. I always thought her to be a really good ethical person in politics. She was fired for that. Trust me, yes, she was, which isn't mm -hmm. that hard to find. Or is, and we me, should ask her about to that find. on Tuesday. But I will say that for whatever you're saying about the mockery of the Republican primaries, and God knows I had my issues with a lot of it, the RNC wasn't putting their hand in the bag trying to get Trump elected. He was the last candidate the establishment of the Republican right. Party wanted. So the RNC wasn't rigging the game to get Trump elected, which is something I think no, now the showcases. Russians, the Russians were rigging the game. Yeah, that's you, the difference. But if you're that is the her, difference. The big difference. First of all, not everything goes back to Mueller in Russia. This is a bad day for you guys. You have Elizabeth Warren coming out, the great new hope for the Democratic Party, saying that this, that this was rigged in order for Hillary Clinton. When you have the next yeah. possible we nominee for your party side. saying the that. Don't. Yeah, all well, well, to the my Kremlin. My comment was less about the mockery this of the is Republican primaries. nothing to primaries. do with Russia. It the was... DNC's problem right now has nothing to do with Russia. What I was no. saying is more that when you, when you were saying this is the world we live in, I said that's sad because as a voter who wants to participate in my democracy, <laughs> I watched... By the way, Meghan McCain is right. Meghan McCain is perfectly right. The Republicans, whatever you want to say about them, they didn't cheat Donald Trump. They hated his goddamn guts. And Donald Trump won. Democrats have superdelegates. Democrats were closing polling locations. They were doing any and everything that they could to keep that man out of that seat. They stole Nevada outright. They were purging people off the voter rolls. One thing after the next. They were trying to curtail votes in some areas where they thought Sanders was going to do immensely well, but they were monkeying around with the process, including using media to attack Sanders. Now, media did attack Donald Trump, but the Republicans did not cheat him at all. They didn't cheat him. And also, Meghan McCain is right. All roads lead to Russia is sad and terrifyingly pathetic. Hey, they cheated Sanders. Russia. Wait, 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 wait. What does Russia have to do with you cheating Sanders? Russia. Vladimir Putin, Russia. 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 Subject verb in Russia. What they used to say about 9-11. They can barely get through one conversation without them bringing up Russia. That's amazing. That's amazing. They bought into that hook, line, and sinker. And, and mind you, they, it makes sense. They're true blue Democrats. So for them, the Democrats said, Russia, we full well believe what the Democrats are telling us. Oh my God, there's cheating in this establishment. There's cheating. Who knew? Who knew there was cheating? I'm blown away by this. But Vladimir Putin had something to do with it. Everything doesn't have to do with Russia, dude. Your party cheated. That's the conversation on the topic. You're bringing in something that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Your candidate, the person who you were supporting, the person who you were on the view screaming and browbeating your viewers about, cheated. You cheated. And you're bringing it in Russia. That's embarrassing. Let's keep going. To these primaries, and I watched these debates to get some information to be able to inform myself yeah. about what these. So I was saying the fact that this is the new reality is scary yeah. because to make an informed decision as a voter, I need to have something to watch. Well, but this, what's this worse, should, a bad this primary should, debate or a rigged election? This, the, all of I it think is they're worse. all there's, bad. There's no, there's no bad or worse. The, 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 the really terrible thing about all this is, you know, people do what they do to do this stuff. What I don't understand is why did everybody wait? Yes. That mean? is a valid why point. They, why did everybody wait to tell this information? You mean Donna Brazil? No, the other people, people say they knew. Known. Other people say, well, well, I was aware of this. And so for me, you know, <laughs> why are you pursing your lips at me? When you say other people uh, knew, oh. they, <laughs> when you say other people uh, knew about, about well, this other DNC people had stuff. to have known yeah. some of this, because like if, if Robbie Mook was writing emails to well, Donna, it, like contracts I, I and think things, in, then. What I've read in Donna's book is that um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz knew well, but that's that what no I'm... one else knew. Well, but there's but no some, way. But, there's, but you somebody... have to have more players. DNC yeah. leadership didn't know. She says. But well, we'll but, ask her about but, it on Tuesday. But if they made a deal, yep. who made the deal? Was Debbie. it just Debbie by herself? Nobody knew. Apparently, I, can't, so. I don't buy that. And why then does Elizabeth Warren sort of say, "Well, I, I got it. I, I get it. This, I think this she happened. got it now." But that, that's, yeah. that's that's those but are my of the point is we have other people, whoever it is, Donna Brazil, whoever it is. Why'd you wait? And come on, don't be naive. You know what I mean? The, the DNC I convention, mean, I mean, that was all everyone was talking about, that this is a rigged game for Hillary, well, the Bernie only, supporters. The, but, but, you know, it... it I'm 
What? Megan McCain is right. What are you talking about? Who is everybody? Yeah, who is everybody? Why didn't anybody else say anything? Why didn't anybody say anything? Do you realize, were you watching the DNC convention? You're on a news show, and it's not a news show, fair enough. It's a talk show. But there's news, there's information, there's people they're bringing on. They're bringing on Donna Brazil. And are you telling me that there was no suspicions by anybody on that panel about cheating? In the DNC primaries. So when you had all those Bernie supporters with tape mouths, all of those, when they're turning sound machines on the supporters to shut them up because their supporters are screaming at the top of their lungs, we're being cheated. We're being cheated. Now, Whippy Goldberg is oblivious to this. Whippy Goldberg is on a talk show that supposedly interviews news people with commentary, but she's oblivious and indignant about nobody telling her. I agree with you, Whoopi, that they waited until the last minute. Donna Brazil comes out after Hillary Clinton loses. Hey, there was gambling in this establishment. There was gambling in this establishment. After the fact, she was being a good and loyal soldier to the end. She knew they cheated and they still went along with the process. Nobody said a goddamn word. Elizabeth Warren knew they were being cheated. Tulsa Gabbard knew they were being cheated. All of those people knew that the Democratic Party was cheating Sanders, including Sanders. All of them knew. It was the widest secret in the history of secrets. And I would argue that it wasn't a secret at all because everybody already knew the fix was in. When Politico ran that story saying that the exact same thing that Donna Brazil said, Donna Brazil could have just taken the political story word for word. The Hillary Clinton campaign is taking more money. She's taking 98 poor, 99% of the money from the state funds and putting it in her pocket. Politico, five, six, seven months ago. Five or six, seven months ago. I don't know what Whoopi Goldberg is talking about. And it annoys me to know that people were screaming in such a way, saying you were cheating us the entire time. Is Whoopi Goldberg completely unfamiliar with the people wagging their finger? You progressives need to fall in line. You lefties need to fall in line. You millennials need to fall in line. You all need to bow your heads. You need to worship at the feet of Hillary Clinton. She is our goddamn savior because otherwise Donald Trump is going to take the reins and he is going to be eating babies and kicking puppies and abusing Mexicans. Is Whoopi Goldberg completely unfamiliar with everything that all these people were saying as the primaries were taking place and as we could see with our own eyes that we were being cheated? That annoys me. That comment immensely annoys me. Why didn't anybody tell me? It's the comment of the wife with a two-month marriage where the wife says, I don't understand. Somebody should have told me if you guys felt that this guy was abusive or this guy was an asshole. We did. You were told. You were told numerous times on numerous occasions, including being told that she is going to lose. Nobody likes her. Joy Behar may love her to death. The rest of the public can't stand her. Before Donald Trump got into the race, Hillary Clinton was the most hated politician in the history of politicians that has ever been recorded in this country. And in order to exceed a guy who calls himself a socialist, they had to knee, kneecap him. They had to cheat him. They had to cheat. Whoopi Goldberg is completely unfamiliar to what took place in the primaries. Whoopi Goldberg was completely oblivious to the cheating that took place in the primaries. Whoopi Goldberg was completely oblivious to the people screaming, screaming, blue in the face, screaming at the top of their lungs, looking and searching for any mic that they can get their hands on to tell anybody that would listen that we are being cheated. We're being cheated. Now, after the fact, she's shocked. Oh my God, there's gambling in this establishment. Oh my God. It's fucking amazing. It annoys me because I know people were out there screaming about they were being cheated. You could look at it with your own eyes and see you were being cheated. The process in Nevada, there was nobody showing chairs being thrown. And yet the narrative got out. They were throwing chairs. They were throwing chairs. A hundred and some thousand people thrown off the roads in Brooklyn illegally by state and federal law. It, it's coincidence. Pure coincidence. It's just coincidence. Shit happens. All those polling locations being closed. Oh, it's just a coincidence. One coincidence 
after the next. WikiLeaks was already out. Is Whoopi Goldberg completely unfamiliar with WikiLeaks? Does she know of the existence of WikiLeaks? Have she heard about the Podesta leaks? Have she heard about the leaks bringing in what took place within regards to the election? How is she completely unfamiliar with this stuff? She works in media. How on earth is Whoopi Goldberg this unfamiliar? And don't get me wrong, I like Whoopi Goldberg, but this answer annoyed the shit out of me. Answer annoyed the shit out of me. We have been here, all of us collectively, yelling about being cheated. Yelling about it. And Whoopi Goldberg, after the fact, ponders, why didn't anybody tell me? Why didn't anybody say anything? That is an aggravating conversation. That is an immensely aggravating conversation. And it makes me think that there's a lot of the population that was completely oblivious to everything that was taking place, which is even more aggravating. Because that means that their democracy was being undermined and they were completely unaware that their democracy was being undermined. They were just voting for the D as if it was this, you know, this perfunctory act. Voting. Who gives a shit about voting? Just a perfunctory act. I just give this away. You understand that the people with wealth, the plutocrats, they get something in return for their money and their vote. Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? I like Whoopi Goldberg. She played Guinan on Star Trek, so I would always have a sweet spot in my heart for her. But I really dislike this comment. I will leave it at that. All right, guys. If you enjoy the content, feel free to share, like, subscribe. And, of course, you can always support through Patreon. Thanks, guys.